What's up, everybody? It's Captain Razzie, and we are back with some more Baldur's Gate 3 after all this time. Alright, we're gonna do what I said I was going to do, and I am going to take everyone over to Withers. We're gonna take a look at what we can for uh, respecking, and we're gonna start Act 2. Finally, after all this time. Alright, <laughs> alright. Uh, the good news is, is that even if I do nothing, uh, I'm not going to lose much because I can just pick pocket withers. I know that's kind of a fucked up way to do things, but hey, you don't mind, so I'm going to do it. Fate spin. Does thou require a new all right, ally? so let me change my class. Thou... 100 bucks. We're going to start from, we're going to go through every character. Uh, if nothing changes, then nothing changes. Um... But we'll see. Uh, so cantrips, friends, and uh, but yep, that's fine. Healing word, thunder wave, Tasha's, and heroism. Did I really? Did I pick heroism? I never use that. You know what? I'm grabbing. I'm grabbing. Speak with animals. We're getting that as a starting spell. Why did I not pick speak with animals as a starting spell? What is wrong with me? One minute in, and we're basically already making better choices. What does heroism do again? Become immune to frighten. You know. So, obviously, when the time comes, I will grab a different spell. Uh, I'll either grab something like Fairy Fire, that might be not a bad one, or uh, Feather Fall. It's over here. Dissonant Withers. Whispers. 3d6 psychic damage? Wait, what? Oh, this is level 1 spell. Duh. And I, but I have Thunder Wave, which is 2d6 Thunder. Because uh, Thunder's good. Thunder Wave is pretty good. So, there we go. That's that's already worth it. Selected instrument. We got the drum. Keep that. Stats. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with these, so we'll just keep going. Uh, I already got my proficiencies. It's sleight of hand, deception, and persuasion. Perfect. Uh, great. Good start. <laughs> Good start. Good start. Already making our money's worth. Getting rid of silly little spells. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gained a level. Got it. New spell. Uh, what did I have? I, I, I could have looked in advance, but I didn't. Um, huh, for some reason I don't remember what I had before. But that's fine. This is this is fine. We're going in a completely blank. Only fair. I never use cure wounds. I always use the one uh, healing word. Grab fairy fire. I didn't have that before. I mean, this is good. This is really good. Get advantage on attack rolls on any target who I can within the light turn like like anyone within range. I get an attack. I get a bonus. Yeah. Yeah, it requires concentration. That's fine. I shouldn't be a frontline fighter. I have the ability to be, but I shouldn't be. There's a difference. Uh, obviously, we're not going to replace a spell because what would I learn? <laughs> what, what what would I learn? I just respect. I'm not going to have anything. Level three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got our specialization. We got a new spell. We got our second level, grabbing Cloud of Daggers, don't even don't even to look at that. We're going back to being a Valor, because we want our medium armor. Two more expertises this is. I don't know what I had before. Um Persuasion? What were my other choices? Stealth, Arcana, History, Athletics. <laughs> Persuasion and sleight of hand feels good feels good. Let's accept. We're gonna stay pure bard. New HP, new cantrip, new spell, new fun. What do we got for cantrips? We got minor illusion, light, dancing light, which is basically just arranged light, true strike, eh, mage hand, and blade ward. Uh, it it's definitely between Mage Hand and Blade Ward because 
Uh, Blade Ward allows me to take less damage, make me a bit more tanky, while Mage Hand gives me a ranged interact, which has its uses. Uh, I... W I li I'm grabbing it. <laughs> it just, like, kicked in. It's like, hey, what would I have a use for this? And then I remember the bridge down in, uh... Worm Forge, Grim Forge. Uh, that would have made it a little bit easier with Mage Hand, rather than breaking down the door. Blade Ward is good, but it only lasts two turns, and that's what gets me. It's like, oh, it's it sucks. Okay, <laughs> all right. Anyways, what do we got? Level two, level two. Got Thrall. Heat metal, that's pretty good. Hold person's pretty strong. Uh, crown of madness, almost a clown of madness, which is also a thing, I suppose. Uh, blindness, no. Knock, no. Lesser restoration, eh, tempting, but I don't think I need it. Uh, just do 1d6 damage each turn for how many turns? As long as I have concentration? Okay. Not terrible, but eh. Team Visibility, Shatter, that's alright. Silence, nah, too risky. Animal Friendship, eh. Bane, Bane's pretty good. Long Strider, Heroism, Featherfall, Distant and Whispers, Sky Self, Sleep. I'm assuming this casting this at a second level would make it 4d6, which... That's scary. <laughs> That's really scary. Um, Crown of Madness, what's this do? Uh, they go mad, which pretty good if I actually use it. Because then I can just make a temporary ally. Temporary, right? Uh, Thrall. Heat Metal. I never used this, but I don't think I had it before. Uh... You can use turns to do multiple damage. You can use a bonus action. That's the tricky part. <laughs> but they can't. It's funny because if you put it on armor, they can't do anything. There is nothing they can do if, I'll, if you book it. And that's funny. Like, use heat metal and then just, like, run away. And then you can't break concentration. It, it busted. Boston. Old person's pretty good. Oh, this is a tough one. This is tough. Part of me is saying take dissonant whispers. <laughs> and part of me is telling me to do it. I have no idea. I actually have no... By the way, I did grab a, a build recommenders for this. For this moment. If I ever like, felt like, I don't know what I'm doing! Uh, so, naturally, I didn't look at it yet. But mm, this is this is the time. This is the time. And it's great because you could, I could just replace the uh, place the thingy, right? Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right, no. Uh, Valor Bard. Let's see what let's see what they say. What should I have taken up to level four? Uh, I don't care about your best choices. Stats are pretty much what I have it. Only I didn't. They put those. In, they put points in intelligence because I was like, I don't want anything below ten. Uh, level. Okay, here we go. Level one. They recommend healing word, cure wounds, tashes, and thunder wave. I picked all those. Cool. I'm good. Either that or I looked it up. I don't remember. <laughs> Fairy fire at level two. Yeah, I saw that and I ingrained that one. Level 3 for Heat Metal. Okay. Get it? I get it. Fourth level was Crown of Madness. Damn. Alright, that doesn't... <laughs> that doesn't help, believe it or not. Um, heat Metal's pretty good. Heat Metal is pretty good. But they didn't recommend Dissonant Whispers, so we can skip that. Alright. Uh... Hmm. 
You know, actually, heat metal would give me a bit more of a versatility. Because that is fire damage, right? Yeah. Yeah, but would they drop weapons? I don't know how the AI works. I don't know. Let's take it. We'll find out, right? Play spell. Would I want to really replace a spell? The answer is no. And now we choose a feat. Oh boy. I don't remember what I picked before. It might have been stat boosts. Might have been. It was a big level, and I forget everything. <laughs> Alright, uh... Pick, let's see. So what are, the, what are the choices that are not terrible? Uh, alert. That one's always good. Can't be surprised. Um, looking at my stats, I could take the ability improvement and get Dexterity and Charisma up to their next tier, which is a really good option. Uh, dual wielder. I don't, I don't dual wield. Uh, heavy armor. I could get heavy armor proficiency. That's silly. Uh... Doable, but silly. Lucky. Uh, you can just... That's pretty strong. I assume you get those back on long rest. Uh, magic initiate. I can grab spells. Martial adept. I get two battle maneuvers and a battle master's superiority die to fuel them. That one's pretty cool, but I don't need that. It's cool. I could give that to someone like Carlock, but... Mm, moderately armored. That's just a strength increase, no thanks. I'd rather grab heavily armored. Pull my arm, don't use pull arms, because they're not one handed. Shield Master, A. You get a plus two to bonus to dexterity saving throws when wielding a shield. If a spell forces you to make a dex saving throw, you can use a reaction to shield yourself on a diminished effect. Ah. Uh... So basically, you use the shield. I mean, On a failed throw, you take half damage. On a successful, you take none. That's actually not bad. That's pretty good. But the question comes down to how many spells do that. Three proficiencies. That's a little too skill monkey for me. Relic Sniper. You learn a cantrip, and the number you need to roll a critical hit with spells is reduced by one. This can stack. Tavern Brawler. Uh, I think this one just got changed, but I don't use strength, so don't worry about it. Tough as HP. Uh, Warcaster. Uh, you gain advantage on saving throws, and you can use a reaction to cast Shocking Grass, which is weird, but the advantage on saving throw concentration is pretty good. If you go use stuff that uses concentration, which I don't think I have. I don't know. Warmaster. Prison Deed and Wep with four weapons of your choice. I have Marshal. I am good. So, yeah, we'll just pick, uh, we'll, we'll pick Ability Improvement, because we're lame. Boom, and boom. That's perfect. We get an extra charisma, and we got an extra dex. Which is probably the exact same thing we did before. Fifth level. Our bard's getting better. Bond of Inspiration. You regain all your things after a short rest. That means I really should be using them! <laughs> I should be using them, but I'm not. I'm not. Oh well. Glyph of Warding, I believe what I, what, I, what I grabbed before. Speak with Dead is pointless, because we have an amulet that lets me do it freely, because it's a ritual spell! <laughs> Plant growth. Man, I can't wait to like have to do this all again, because I'll find like an item that lets me talk to animals. That'd be so great. Alright, oh, that was easy. Moving on. <laughs> Simple level up to pick. Thank goodness for that. Counter Charm. Nice. What's Counter Charm do? You and any allies within 9 meters have advantage on saving throws against being charmed or frightened. Last for 3 turns. Wait, what? Okay, sure. Whatever. Extra attack. Alright. Alright, alright. Alright, let's see what the next couple levels say, because I don't know what I want to grab for 5th and 6th. Glyph Awarding. <laughs> Easy recommendation. Got it. Thank you. I, I knew that. Sinking Cloud, excuse me. <laughs> it prevents creatures from taking actions while inside. Um, 
No? Like, it's not a terrible idea in theory, just the problem is... I don't know, I don't know how to use it. I'm, I'm too stupid to use it. I'm scared, I'm too worried I'll break something. Alright. Let's grab an earlier spell. Just a new whispers! Uh, no. Uh, Crown of, let's go grab Crown of Madness. Why not? I got like a brand, like a whole better spell because I got rid of a spell I never used. At least I don't think I used. Anyways, that's just one character. <laughs> we got like six more to go. Let's hope this goes a lot faster, which I imagine it will because not everyone's a spellcaster. Attack. Whenever thou hast. <laughs> this is Karlak's first time talking to him, right? Right, 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 right. Alright, so yeah, this is gonna be really quick. So you're a barbarian. Uh, I'm not... I don't think I want to touch your stats. Is there anything I'm looking at here that she doesn't need? And my first instinct is to say charisma. Because who needs charisma, right? I have no idea. <laughs> I legit have no idea. Alright. What 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 are our, what is this random guide's recommendation on growth? 16, 14, 16, 8, 12, 8. So if I take two points out of there. Uh put it into constitution. There we go. That that's that's better. That's just better. She I don't think she uses charisma for anything. I made her socially awkward, but <laughs> but Intimidation and Perception. I guess she used Intimidate, I guess. Uh, but... Yeah, this is a funny thing. It's like... Sure, in theory, yeah, why not use these things? But it's like... Outside of... Um, I would say select moments... They don't need these things. Only when they're forced into a conversation. Although, I think they're... They fixed that, because patch 6 just came out, and I mean just came out today. So I, like, downloaded that, and I was waiting for that to record. So hopefully a lot of these problems will be avoided, but we'll see. All right, is that just an easy level up? Danger sense and reckless attack? Nice. I love it. I love these easy levels. <laughs> you gain speak with animals. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. You're becoming a berserker. Become stronger. Strong. You get that betterness. Yeah. Yeah, I love these easy levels where I don't have to worry about anything. God bless the fighters. Right? Alright, what have we got now? Level 4? Just HP? Wow. No, I'm just kidding. That'd be That would have been great. Alright, level 4. I, I think we're looking at ability improvement. Get that shit to 18. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Get that 18, and then... I don't know. I could put another point in, or I can just increase dex to 14. What would that give me? Eh, make her move slightly quicker. That, that would be it. That'd be pretty good. So, she's using medium armor, so that actually would be ideal to get her to plus two. So, there we go. Beautiful. That increases her AC because she's using m medium armor. Like it. We got our HP, got our extra attack, and we got fast movement. And we got branding strike. Okay. I really love these quick levels. Goddamn. <laughs> And I got like all the mages in my party, I just realized, except for Will. <laughs> God damn it. That's it, that's our levels, damn. Basically what we did with her is we took away her, uh, charisma. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright, here's gonna be a fun one. Cause, Shadowheart, girl. I'm just, I'm just gonna pull you or, uh... I respect you once before, but um, feeling a little bit 
iffy, right? I gave her Dex, and it's like, in retrospect, why did I do that? Because it was popular? Spins. Which, I mean, Just yeah, it kind of is. Uh, but I'm feeling a little second-guessy. So, Cleric, her spells are Guidance, Sacred Flame, and Blade Ward. Uh, light, no. Resistance, nah. Themology. And Produce Flame! Uh, she has Fireball. This is 1d10, right? I don't think I can change that. So... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Produce Flame is theoretically good? But, like... Is it? <laughs> is is it? I don't know. All right. Sacred flame. That's yeah, obvious. The other one is epistemology, right? I think where is that? It is right here. Not terrible, but it only works on herself. Which, as a companion, and I don't plan on switching, kind of worthless. Yeah, I'm looking at this, it's just, yeah, go, go. Life domain, yep. Alright, so this is where things get funny, right? Because they recommend, of course, the 14 decks, and that's good in theory. But again, she's going to be wearing heavy armor, first chance I can get. So, let's get rid of that, put it back into strength. I feel like I just undid something. <laughs> I also talked about it, I think, last time. It's been a few weeks. Um, I can act as a backup healer. So there's absolutely no reason for us to be side-by-side -side on turn order uh, with, uh, let's go say Char. With Shadow Heart being slower, this will allow us to be a bit more split on the turn order. Meaning I can have a more constant heal in the event of emergencies. So she doesn't need decks, because if they we just go fast together, we're going to take a barrage of hits. <laughs> so giving her strength will allow her to make the most out of her weapons. Uh, she's got simple weapons, she's got morning stars. Uh, I, can I scroll? I can hit her one. Okay. She's got morning stars, spears, pikes... Halberds, glaives, uh, she's gonna have a shield, so that basically comes down to, like, morning stars <laughs> and simple weapons. The daggers were basically all I could give her back beforehand, the respect, so I think this works out. Uh, feel free to comment that I'm wrong. I I'd love to hear it, so I can ignore you. <laughs> no, uh, we're gonna, don't worry about it. It's fine fine level up i'm actually surprised though we uh haven't had any waste diseases channel divinity turn undead preserve life good for you all right you get nothing wait really okay that's fine healing word inflict wounds guiding bolt oh yeah you get everything so i'm gonna have to look at this just keep going Keep going. Level three. Spell slot. Nice. Bunch of spells. I love it. I'll uh, res I'll actually do this spell selection off screen. It's probably like got screwed up because of the reset, but that's fine. New cantrip. All right. <laughs> uh, produce flame. It's either produce flame, resistance. It's one of those two. So I am looking at resistance. Like that seems to be the best way. Because it's <laughs> Yeah. Blade Ward, no. Alright, grab resistance. Alright, next up for her feet. Oh god. Alright. It would make her better. Uh, I could make her a better cleric if I buff her uh, wisdom. I don't know what else to really grab. More spells? Well, like, eh, she doesn't need spells. Uh, Tavern Brawl is kind of worthless for her, so, you know. 
Yeah, let's go. Let's go by. Let's increase wisdom. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Prepared spells. Got it. Oh man, Gale's gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> I just realized. Oh man. So we got our third levels. All right. Cool. I love how easy these level ups are. Like I said, I'll do those off screen. Like, I'll pause the video recording, whatever. My god, the bard is. <sighs> Choosing spells is obviously we're gonna be where all the pain is, right? Oh, no, that's not the right way. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, our winners! I shall be right. here in my camp. As the Do this. Alright, Mr. Gale. You're a wizard. Spells! Oh boy! Here we go! Oh boy. This is uh, gonna be fun! Where's my Gale build? Where's my important Gale build? I have like seven pages open, leave me alone. I have to like, go through each and every one of them. Will... Are you it? Press, uh, process of elimination? Alright, cool. Ability... Alright, no, uh, start... Can't trips to level one. A little weird. <laughs> A little weird. As a splash, firebolt, ray, ray of frost. Yeah, that sounds about right. Mage hand, I don't need that. I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> so, acid splash is 1d6 acid. <laughs> Little bubble that hits, that damages each creature it hits. Apparently it can reduce armor? I'm sorry, what? Is that an upgrade or something? Bone chill? No, I don't want him in touch and range. Wait, I mean that's 18 meters. I don't want him with an 18 meter range. Uh, poison spray, shock and grasp, minor illusion, mage hand, light. Da 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 da. Yep. We'll do acid splash. I'm up for trying it. Ray of frost and firebolt are great. Yeah, I'm open for the other ones. Shock and grasp is melee. That's a bit no. That's a no. Level 1 spells. Oh my god, this is, this is the shit right here. Alright. Alright, so we know what not to have. Mage armor is number one. Of course. Number one spell. Uh, what else we gotta get? We, what else? Like, I'm feeling chromatic orb. That's a pretty good projectile. That helped us a lot. Uh, Burning Hands, no. Burning Hands is good, but I don't think I need it. Not bad. Oh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Sky Self, Expeditious Retreat, Ice Knife, Grease. I never use Grease. I'm weird, so, you know. Seven temporary hit points, that's... Eh. I, I feel like that's nothing at this point. Sadly. Magic missile is a good choice. Can't go wrong with with magic missile, honestly. Ray of sickness, witch bolt, thunder wave. Thunder wave's good. Gets him off people. Gets people off of him. Uh. Last second AC increase for five, as well as immunity to a magic missile. Maybe. I'll put that on just for now. Ashes city laughter. I don't use that. There's probably people look at like look at it and be like, what is he doing? Just tell him to stop, you know. Uh, do I want Featherfall? Mm. Nah. I feel like I I missed my chance to use Featherfall to its greatest effect. I could have used that and get down below easily. Uh, next spell though to grab. Damn, this is gonna be tough. Choosing spells is where all the level up time is. What does Witch Bolt do? Uh, oh, I can just do. Oh, okay. That's not terrible. Like a target, you know. 
Although Ray of Sickness can possibly poison the target, which I believe gets disadvantages. These are a lot of good choices. I could go sleep, actually. I could go sleep. Nah, yeah! Sleep did help me a bit, so. It can be good for letting up, setting up for final hits or get rid of some mooks. In worst case scenario, I can replace it, la replace it later, you know? Stats. I don't think I need to touch the stats. Uh, then again, doesn't need charisma. He sure doesn't. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can increase his thing anymore. Yeah, 17 is as high as he can get. Yeah. I'm looking at this and I'm like, yeah. But as for my other one, could put it in there. What if I... What if? What is this recommendation? How do I get these numbers? 8, 16, 14, 16, 10, 10? I can't get rid of anything else. Unless, hold on, this is a big puzzle, isn't it? Also, why would I want my fucking... Why? Why would I want that? I guess it's because it's an even number. I guess. I'm looking at this and it's just like, what? Does it work, though? Intelligence being an odd number doesn't really do me any favors. Uh... But he won't be really wearing armor, so that AC is important. Mmm. Yeah, well, you know, we'll try it. We'll try it. There's no harm in experimenting. Uh, your stats excel at insight and... Okay. I'm tempted to give you religion over insight. I'm building these people as if they're never going to be in a conversation, and I think that's goofy as shit. And funny. All right. This is this is where the pain begins. Hopefully, it remembered every single spell I taught him. Oh God, please let him remember every single spell I taught him. All right. Let's go. First things first. Uh, ba 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 ba. Where is it? I think it's the evocation. Uh. Hey, what's this? Allies automatic succeeds their saving throws against these spells and take no damage from them. Okay. Yeah, this is what I want. Evocation, baby! As for spells. Find familiar and feather falls recommended? Okay. I've never used that, but. I'm not against it. I think I like intentionally ignored it before. I don't know. Sky self is kind of lame. I don't. I don't know really how to use it proper. Charm person. No. I might actually end up grabbing the grease spell. <laughs> I might be re-grabbing it. And I think that's kind of silly. I think that's really funny. Um, blinds and heavily scares. That's a that's a double-edged sword. I'm just gonna go with Grease. <laughs> like I said, I'll change my prepared spells after. I'll do it after. All right, Wizard, level two, baby. Where is it? Scorching Ray. That's that's just there. That's just there. Uh, as for the other one, uh, there's Misty, which is pretty good. Uh, no. Knock spell is unlocked. No. Charm. Scene visibility. Phantasmal force. Nope. 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 Blah, blah, blah. All right. Uh, what was the weapon one here? Magic weapon. 
Use a weapon with arcane energy. That weapon receives magical plus one damage. That's pretty good, but I don't. I think Misty Set might be the go-to. Get get the hell out of dodge, right? All right, level up Complete. to the next to the next level. Six more hit points, baby. All right. News, choose a new cantrip. Oh, baby. Po poison spray? Poison spray is pretty good. Uh, otherwise... Blade Ward? Maybe? But that's like... A uh, Nathaniel fucked up sort of thing, right? But... Uh, uh, it's really between Poison Spray... And Blade Ward. If I still had the Poisoner's Robes, I'd go with Poison Spray, but... Because that's really strong, but the trade-off is point-blank, right? Um... I wonder if I get another cantrip down the road. That would make it a lot easier on the choice. Okay. Alright. I don't know if that got picked up on the mic, just someone in the back just screaming. Alright, cool. Great. Fantastic. What, what do we got? What do we got? Flaming Spear from Mirror Image? Uh, I'm not against Flaming Spear. I did use that once and it did kind of be use, become useful. But Mirror Image? I think I might have that. Nope, oh, never mind. It's right there. <laughs> yeah, no, that looks really good. And I imagine we want some. Uh... Yeah. Get that ability improvement and buff our intelligence. Make ourselves even scary. Urgh. We got another spell slot. I love how Glyph Awarding's there, because it's like, yep, you got it already. Yep, deal with it. Alright, level 3 spells. This is where the good stuff is. Gotta grab Fireball. <laughs> Gotta grab Fireball. And the other option's what? Gonna be Haste? Counterspell's a damn good choice, but yeah, Haste. Although I think we're gonna get Counterspell next level. Easy level. It's easier when I don't have to uh, think about it. Potent cantrip. Oh right, our cancer cantrips got stronger. Or I think. They still take damage. Nice. Alright, so two new spells. Counter spells number one. Now, if, if if you don't have counter spell like right away, you're playing a dangerous game. Uh as for the other spell. What's the skeleton thing? Animate dead. Eh. Okay. Sonic pattern. Lightning bolt. Protection from energy. Slow. Stinky cloud. Stinky cloud. Uh. I don't know. Well, the thing recommends glyph of warding, but I don't have to grab that because. Uh, I learned it already. So this is great. Um, gaseous form or slow? Slow is pretty good as a debuff, but I'd almost rather just throw a fireball, to be honest. Like, I, I don't know. Gaseous form. Uh, can't fall, fits through small openings, is very hard to damage. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, I, I don't know what else to grab. Lightning bolt? Hits all enemies in a line. Never mind, never mind, never mind. There. We got it. We're good. That's, uh, another sixth level. Alright, um, let's go grab some what else. And here comes, like, my favorite addition to, uh, patch six. Well, I don't have to uh, swap people out. You've just got to make a little space. Gail could do with the rest. Ready and willing. Oh my god. It's just so easy. Here like why wasn't that a thing before? <laughs> Holy shit. It's so crazy. Oh, I mean you still gotta talk to a person, which is a little Full bit annoying, stuff. but I mean, in comparison, I don't have to go start a conversation. You need to say, "Cam, oh, but you want me to be here," and I'm like, "Yeah, I do, but I just want to switch people out." You know, like, fuck. 
All right, Warlock. Eldritch Blast, obviously. Obviously. Uh, let's, uh... I should actually be closing the windows. I don't need any more because I haven't been closing them. Whoopsie doodles. All right, level one bullshit. I don't know what to recommend other than Eldritch Blast. Because Eldritch Blast is like, the Blade Ward, I can see that. Uh, poison Spray, True Strike. Nobody wants True Strike. You think you want True Strike? You don't. And that's not me being cute. That's just honestly true. <laughs> it takes two turns just to get two rolls of an atta one attack. I'd rather just swing twice. That's why it needs to be a bonus action. And then in that case, I guess not a uh, cantrip, but still. I think being in a bonus action is better. Fiend, Grey One, Archfey. Uh, I think I want the Fiend. Armor of Agoras, Mortal. Uh, what do these do again? Fuck, I don't remember. I don't remember. These are all like. This is like. You lock shit in. Alright. You lock in, you get a lot of upgrades later. Uh, when you reduce a creature to zero hit points, they you get four HP. Oh, that's pretty good. Armor of Agoras, pretty good. Uh, does that require me to be unarmed? Armored? No. Okay. Arms of Hadar, classic. Great old one. Hideous laughter, dissonant whispers. When you land a crit, anyone nearby must succeed a wisdom saving throw or become frightened. Eh. Chime or frighten nearby creatures with. Okay, no. <laughs> Fiend it is. Fiend it is. Uh, for level 1 spells, uh... Why are they selected the ones that... Oh, okay. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Burning Hands, Charm Parson, Command, Expeditious, Retreat, 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 Protect for Good and Evil, Hex. Hex is pretty good. Uh, I can't knock Hex. Hellish Rebuke. React to your opponent, your dex attacker with flames that deal, blah blah blah. I think that's a reaction, which is really good. Get rid of these. I'm actually looking at Hellish Rebuke and Hex. Hex is, like, really good. You're making it, your attacks deal 1d6 necrotic damage. Extra to that target, they get a disadvantage on the ability of your choosing, that part's whatever. But more importantly, when an enemy dies, I can I can choose a new target, and that's that's the part, right? That's the part that's really good. So, uh, yeah, uh, I picked that one up from uh, playing. Uh, uh, I was gonna D and D fifth edition. I learned that one recently when I was building a warlock. I'm like, that's really good. Holy shit, you know. All right, what do we got for bullshit here? What is this bullshit? Lower intelligence. I'm not against that. Bye. <laughs> you don't use it, Will. You don't need that many points. Why do you want two points in strength? Why would you want strength? You don't need it. I mean, I guess you do for your early levels, but... You don't need strength, dude. Buff it to 16. I think we're good. 8, 16, 14. I think that's a good boost. The t two points in strength. I'm trying to figure out what they want that for. I, I don't get it. <laughs> I could, I could reduce these points, you know, adjust them, but no, <laughs> no. This is actually really good. I like that. All right, what do we got for here? You have intimidate. I'm taking your intimidation away. Uh, keeping your arcana. Um. You just got minus ones and everything. Shit. Alright. Too bad there wasn't like a passive intimidation, you know? Just being there. If only we could use other people's roles for items, then maybe it wouldn't be so bad to have all these things. Like, hug tree. You know, screw it. You can have intimidation. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You're done, Will. You're done for now. At least, it turns to level one. This whole part is just me respecting characters. I just realized we are 45 minutes in. I mean, the next two characters aren't going to take long, but there's no point in doing anything else. <laughs> New spell. All right. Uh, first money bit of money is on Armor of Agoras. Or Arms of Hadar, one of those two. But I don't see anything else that's worth a damn, so... 
<laughs> okay. Magical Mage Guide. What do you recommend? Agonite. Wait, that's Elder Convocations. Armor of Agoras. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> five temporary hit points, five cold damage. Uh, anyone hit you? How long does this last? Until long rest? Wait, what? I thought that was one hit. Oh my god. Wait, what happens if you lose the five hit point? Oh, he still has cold. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. The question is, why wasn't that on earlier? Agonizing Blast. That makes it better. Uh, if you don't have Agonizing Blast, why did you pick Eldritch Blast as your thing? Look why. Armor of Shadows. You can cast Mage Armor at on, on yourself at will. Without expending a spell slot. That's really good! That's really good! And I'm not wearing any armor, so... Uh, yeah. You just gotta remember to use it. Cool! An update for Lords of the Fallen, randomly. Thank you. I remember playing that for the 24 hour live stream. That was fun. I should go back and beat it. For myself, I, uh, obviously. It's on the to do list, alright? Yeah, we'll get Armor of Shadows. That's just really good. Get more, get Mage Armor at free. I just gotta remember to cast it, and then it becomes a tag. It's great! All right, I don't see the need to replace a spell. Let's get going. If we're building correctly, we never need to use that replace spell thing, right? Passive and a new spell. Okay. What spell am I grabbing? We got level two, so a lot of good choices. Mirror image is actually not a terrible choice if we want to keep them tanky. Uh, but we'll, let's see. Misty Step and Mirror Image are the recommendations. Wow, that was easy. Wow, okay. <laughs> the one I was looking at. Man, that's nuts. What do we got? Pack to the Chain, Pack to the Blade, Pack to the Tunnel. This is a big, important one. Uh, I don't remember what these benefits give. Pack to the Blade lets me summon a packed weapon. Uh, it uses the spellcasting ability modifier, which is Charisma, instead of Dex and Strength. See, that's really good, because then I can make him... That's how you make a Hexblade. They put Pack to the Blade, and they put the Hexblade built into it. So, that's really good, because Pack... That second part? That's, that's what a Hexblade does. That's not what Pack to the Blade is. I learned that one. I was like, holy shit, they're separate. Hexblade's really good. Like, I can summon that in advance, and then I don't ever need a staff, unless it's for spells. That's basically why you would have a quarter staff, right? Chain gives me a familiar. Uh, I'd have to look at the options. Can I look at the options? I cannot. So, what does that do for me? Uh. Okay. <sighs> And he's like, okay, we, we can go with either chain or tome, but don't use melee. Alright, fine, I won't. I will have to do a warlock build, though. I, I do want to play a melee warlock. That's a lot of fun. You get so many options. If I didn't want to be a skill monkey, I'd probably switch to warlock, man. That's just great. Uh, so yeah, do I want to go with chain or do I want tome? Tome gives me... Thorn Whip... Vicious Mockery and Guidance. That's it. You probably get more spells, but I'll go Chain. We'll play with Summons. We'll play with Summons. He's got 16 Dexterity. That's pretty good for melee weapons. And he has... Uh, he doesn't use a shield, so he's, he can use a quarter staff pretty damn well. So, okay. Watch me regret this choice. It is what it is. All right, fourth level. What are we getting? Uh, cantrip and spell, and the feed, of course. For cantrip, uh, first thought is bone chill. No, uh, poison spray. <laughs> Either that or minor illusion. Uh, you create illusion that compels the creature to investigate. You can remain hidden while casting the spell. It can even be cast while silenced. Okay. 
Mage Hand, I guess. Um, I don't need Poison Spray. He's got Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast is going to do more damage. Um, Bone Chill. Bone Chill has utility. But again, it's more of a damage spell. He doesn't need a damage cantrip, so... Mage Hand, Friends, and True Strike, and Minor Illusion, right? But... He's not my stealth guy, so that cuts out Illusion, and that leaves... Mage Hand, True Strike, which is worthless, and Friends, which he's... Okay, there we go. <laughs> wow, they make it so difficult sometimes on choosing what to grab. Spells, what do we got for spells? Darkness? No. <laughs> no. Misty Step's pretty good. Uh, Scorching Ray's great. I'll grab that first. Uh, I could grab Shatter, but... Mm. This is 3d8 versus 66. Oh, pff, never mind. That's good. <laughs> it's 2 to 12 for each fireball. But still. Yeah, Alright. I'm good with that. Good for replacing. And for feet. Oh, man. Oh, man. This one's... Ooh. Ooh. What's Spell Sniper give me? Because I am really tempted. <laughs> yeah, alright. Get... I wonder if there is something that increases charisma on the side. I'd have to scroll. Uh, actor, which is... Pointless. Uh, blah, blah. Mm, I could skip a lot of these. You gain advantage on perception checks made to detect hidden items. Okay. Durable. Heavily Arbor. No. Lucky. Lucky! Nage Initiate. No. Martial Adept. No. Global. This is gonna suck, because I have... Oh, I see why they recommend having 16. I could... Alright. I see why. I see why. Because I'm going to have a wasted point later. That's that's going to suck. Oh. 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 Hold on. You know, you know, hold, hold, hold. Hold on. Hold on. There. There. I, uh, I respect. I put that, those two, that point in charisma into two strength. I now understand why they did that. I hope I didn't make that mistake earlier. That's gonna suck. <laughs> like, if I was, if he was the face, actor would have been fine to grab. But yeah. All right. This is the point where I get to just say Pathfinder. I don't know why, but I find you way more simpler to get because all you just do are the modifiers. There's no need for scores, honestly. <laughs> Absolutely redundant. And also, it's it's just, it's just creates confusion. There's no point, like I said, having an odd number. So why have uh, an odd number available, right? Just the modifier is what matters. Very rarely does a score actually do anything. Anyways, that's enough bitching. I don't want to say that Pathfinder is better than Fifth Edition, even though it totally is. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, third level. Uh, fireball's a good one. Fireball's good. Counterspell's also great. Um, I'm probably gonna get another. Oh wait, what's this do again? Hunger of Hadar. Uh, it's make an area. Creatures then take two to twelve cold. People ending their turn take acid. Then the area is considered a difficult terrain, which is really strong. But the problem is. Uh, it's a... I have to make sure I don't get anyone else trapped in it, right? I'd almost have, kind of want that over Fireball, though, to be honest. No, that's that's insanity, because Fireball's just really good. 8d6, baby. Heldrick Invocation. Alright. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I feel like we got new ones, because we're really cool. You can cast Bestow Curse. Nah. Nope. Uh, gain proficiency, deception, persuasion. You can see in darkness. That one's not terrible, but we... I feel like we got through the worst of it. It's fine. And with Gale. 
Uh, false life, get 7 HP. That should just be... If, it, if it's one of these sort of things, false life and... Um, Armor of Shadows, that should just be auto-cast. There's... If it doesn't cost anything, it might as well just always be active. I don't see a point to cast this beyond waking up, you know? Like, once you wake up, just cast it, you're good. You lose the 7 hit points, you lose the 7 hit points. Otherwise, eh. Repelling Blast. Uh, Eldritch Blast pushes away? That one's pretty good. Uh, what, is, what does this one recommend? Eldritch Invocation, I think I might have went too far. Hold on. Repelling Blast. Yeah, so it's... Kind of, Repelling Blast is probably the best one. Push away the enemy. Uh, otherwise... I don't know, maybe. Repelling Blast. Enhance our Eldritch Blast to make it better. Since he's not a melee mate, or a melee warlock, it's really good for him. Level 6! Dock one's own lock. What's this do? Call upon your patron to change the fate and add a d10 to the inability check? What the fuck? Can I do that freely? Oh my god. There's no restriction. Oh my god, that's really good. That's like an insanely strong... Oh my god, I want to play War... <laughs> I want to play Warlock! <laughs> I'm, I have the feeling that is, um, that's a Pact of the Chain, I think. Or no, it'd be, I don't know. I really want to play Warlock all of a sudden. Damn. Alright. Uh, I'm not changing, not for this character. This playthrough is staying the same. I don't feel the temptation to change my bard, but... If I get through all the classes I want to play, Fighter and Rogue with my friends, the next playthrough is going to be a Warlock. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. That's good. We got Counterspell. I am happy. Let's go. Who's next? Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting Asterion. That's who I was forgetting. I actually wasn't sure if I was remembering... Uh, I was really, I'm forgetting someone, and it's, of course it's the most memorable character in the game. Oopsie doodles. Yes. Uh, I need you in my party. Word, but you have Take so place with, trade places with Will. Excellent. <laughs> Sorry, Will. Bye. Alright. You're gonna be a fun one to build. I like building. Rogues are fun to build. Straight up. Uh, if you're doing it for damage, at least. If you're playing sneaky, sneaky, oh, whatever. <laughs> I feel like I play Rogue super wrong, but man, I shall be here in when you camp. when you get good at this, it's like I want you, you get some, you get other people to help you set up for your backstabs. For everyone else, god damn it, you know, just kick ass. So, first things first is ability scores. What do we got? I love how it recommends 9 strength. Oh, oh great. Alright, dexterity's 14. Get rid of these points. <laughs> these two. Why did you have a point in intelligence? Get out of here! Get out of here! Uh. Alright, this is gonna be fun. So 17 is the highest I can go, right? Yeah. This is, uh, okay. Okay. What if I do that? That one's, that's pretty good. That's actually not bad. I can't believe I have 16 constitution on my rock, though! That feels so wrong! It feels so wrong, but it feels, it's, it's just so right. I don't know what he uses charisma for, I'll be honest. Um, I'm probably going to find out the hard way, but... He's a pure damage dealer. I don't know what you use charisma for. Other than for being a face, but he's not my face. He's, uh... 
He's my rogue. All right, what do we got? Acrobatics, stealth. I'm fine with those two. Performance, persuasion. Is there anything better? I could give him athletics, but eh. This is stupid. This is so dumb, and I love it. If I brought his strength down to eight, I could increase his charisma to a twelve. This is so, like I said, this is just. There's someone looking at this. I just know, and they're like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And it's the best idea ever. Someone's gonna get mad if they see this, and I love it, and I love it so much. All right, uh, I agreed with that. Skill, expertise, sleight of hand, and stealth makes sense to me. That makes sense. Here you go, Asterion. You're reborn. <laughs> he is now level one. Oh my god. And the crazy running. Well, what does the strength do for? He doesn't need strength. Like, why would you point it? Carrying capacity. Oh my god, carrying capacity is so good. Alright, so we got our cunning actions. I think that's literally all we get. Nice, nice, nice. He's gonna have easy, very quick levels, isn't he? Oh, this is when we get our. Hey, Mage Hand, the Gurdiman. Okay, oh, right, no, that's a uh, subclass shit, right. Thief, Arcade Trickster, and Assassino. Uh, assassin's fun. You get to like you can do some real good shit. You go first, you get, but this is all like turn one stuff. Thief, on the other hand, lets us do a lot of damage because you get to you get you get an extra bonus action, I believe. You sure do. That that alone is like really good because when you're dual wielding, your second weapon uses your bonus action. So having Two bonus actions means you get another attack, and that's great. So, thief you are. Thief you be. Rogue level four. I never actually, I took a, also took a bit of a look at their gear uh, before I uh, started recording. Uh, I hope everyone's good. I didn't, <laughs> I hope. All right, are we gonna get an ability to score improvement for, to dex to 18? Cause that's what I'm thinking. Uh, sharpshooter, really? Oh, I guess if we were playing a range build, sure. But that's not going to go well with our dual wield. Um, mm, oh, that's tough. Really tough. Could go dual wielder. Like I said, it's a lot of fun. But I guess with sharpshooter, you get like some good stuff. But dual rapiers is funny. Not dual wield heavy weapons. And I'll show you. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll do dual wield. I like dual wield. I get it. I really do, but. I, don't, I wanna. I know how I wanna play. Plus, he gets health with his uh, ability to suck blood, and also he gets. He's got 16 constitution, so we're gonna have to do something wrong, right? Uncanny dodge. That's really strong. 51 hit points. Oh my god! He gets two more expertise. Let's go. Uh, let's go with. Uh, was acrobatics? Sure. And deception? Nah, perception. There we go. Acrobatics and disperception. That was easy. He was quick. He was very quick. Alright. Still breathing. Despite everything. Alright, alright. I also, yeah, put on the uh, boots that I got off of uh, Nelly. Nearly whatever. This disintegrating night walkers. Can walk. I don't. I can. I can walk fine. 
I can walk fine and I get a teleport. That's by far the best one. <laughs> the best boots I got. Like, holy shit. Alright, Lazalia, the last one. Speak. The last one. I'd like you to join me. Dismiss someone first. Uh, take Carlock's place. I am gonna double check their gear off screen. Uh, they never made um, equipping party members any easier. Well, I still don't get why. I'd love to join, but um, I don't think there's enough space for me to squeeze in. I, I don't get why. I, I don't I don't get why. Like, you, you go into the character sheet, whatever, and it's if you still pick someone, you can't do what you can do with any other character in your party. You can't just click here and switch. You have to like highlight an item, press square, and then equip. I don't get why that's the case. That need that should be patched. That should be fixed. There is no reason for that to happen. So it's, it's just extra steps, and that's not the point. Right? Like. What the fuck? Alright, anyways. Uh, I do remember, I th think I remember respecting you. No. I don't know if I did or not. We'll find out in five seconds. Nope. Okay, never respect you before. Alright. So. Time to level up as a fighter. Of course. Of course! Uh, what was I doing with you? Uh, ain't that the real question, right? Uh, I think I was doing blunt weapons? No, because that's pretty good, right? Sword and shield, sword and board. Um, it gives you great weapon fighting. What's two weapon do? You got your ability modifier? Oh my god, that's not a default? Holy shit. Alright. Uh, but dueling? I'm thinking dueling. Bitch is honor bound, right? Let's give her a dueling. So let's see. When you're wielding a melee weapon that is not two handed or versatile in one hand. Huh? Okay, never mind. And no weapon in the other, you deal additional two. You also carry a shield in your. Shield. Wait, what? In your free hand, and still gain this bonus. What? Oh, okay, never mind. So it's just saying you can use a shield. So, you get two extra damage. That's really good. I don't even think that's what it did before. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. I'm going dueling. It feels wrong and it's, it's pretty hot, honestly, all things considered. <laughs> it's pretty hot. Alright, here we go. Respecking. Uh, 16 strength, yep. As we mentioned earlier, 16 dex. That's great. Um, does she need wisdom? <laughs> Does she need wisdom? She's not even that wise. There, I think that's actually perfectly fine. Although, she, oh, she doesn't need intelligence. She doesn't need intelligence. Take these two points away and slap him into will. Wisdom. What does wisdom do again? Wisdom does something. I can't remember. I feel like it does something for fighters. Go get charisma. Could get intelligence. Uh, yeah, let's put intelligence. There's something funny about it. She definitely is not the kind of person, Lizelle, to have any form of charisma at all. Uh, really, any gift does really doesn't have any personality. I'm uh, sorry, charisma. <clears throat> sorry, hmm. I meant to say charisma. Actually, <laughs> I, I, I could play into that joke, but no. They they have a quite an aggressive personality, and that's just putting it lightly. <laughs> Alright. So what do we got? What do we got for skill proficiencies? Uh, acrobatics is strong. She can't pick athletics. She probably already has it. So, that was easy. Um, what's her current other one? Survival. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with that. There we go. Level up time! Holy crap, we've gone over an hour. Like I said, this is the first part kind of predictable. Act and Surge, great. Level 3. I get a specialization, superiority die. Because, okay. Battlemaster, Eldritch Knight, and Champion. Eldritch Knight's my go to fighter class, but uh, it's not for her. <laughs> not for her. Champions get improved crit. 
that alone doesn't interest me. Battlemaster is where we're going. Uh, I think the ones I want were disarming, sweeping, and trip. I think it was. I think I don't remember. It's been a little while since I picked these. Uh, we'll see. We'll double check. I I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Disarming, trip, and repost. Oh fuck! I was close. What's sweep do? You just hit. Oh, okay, you hit multiple targets. Repost is repost, whatever. Uh, if they miss, you can spend a dice and do <laughs> extra damage. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, that that one makes sense. That one makes sense. And I get Gifty Yankee jump. Okay. All right. Uh, 40, 40 health. All right. It's pretty good. Get feet. Uh, thinking ability score improvement. Uh, but. Fighters are fun. Fighters are fun. They get a bunch of stuff. They recommend Great Weapon Fighter. Well, I'm not playing that, so uh, do you have any other suggestions? No. <sighs> of course not. Alright, what do you recommend for your feats? Hold on. I'm just gonna scroll down, right? I wanna see what they do. Get alert. Ooh, alert's pretty good. That's really good. Is there just a... Oh, okay. Number 12, they recommend improving your strength to 20. How'd you do that? You spent two feats. Okay. <laughs> okay. Man, I really wish we had those other feats. Oh, wait, no, you get another feat. I forgot. You're a fighter. Derpy derp. Uh, what level do you get your other feats? Is it six? Is it six when you get your next feat? You do. All right. Uh, oh fuck, alright, so, that leads to the question, what do I build? When attacked while wielding a finesse weapon, you're not using finesse, there we go, moving on. Uh, no, uh, ooh, mm, mm, I get an extra feat to work with, this is tough. Shield master, what is that? You know, plus two dex saving throw. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, maybe? Maybe? Because that's really strong. That's really strong. All right. Um, yeah, for now, let's just grab ability improvement because get that 18 strength. Boom. Fifth level. I get extra attack. And Misty Stab, because she's gift. Nice. And now I just need to see what a sword and board fighter would want for feats. Because I could get strength to 20 right now. Or I could be sensible. Quote unquote. <laughs> I could grab alert. Get that plus five to initiative. She's that's gonna make her go first, right? That's just gonna straight up make her go first, right? Cause that's huge. That's a huge number. I okay. I don't. I don't know what I want for feet. I can grab alert early, um, but shield master would be pretty strong because that can reduce a lot of damage. It's what, specifically for uh, dex space throws? Yeah. Let's let's see. I, I just need, I'm gonna have to look up, do extensive research on feats real quick. For sword and board, what do we got? Lucky would be pretty good. Great Weapon Master. Actually, hold on. I want to look at that for a second. Oh. Oh. It's called Great Weapon Master, but I can use... Oh. Uh. If you're using... If you're not... Blah, blah, blah. Martial Adapt. Someone's recommending that. That's an interesting one. Which one's that again? Two Battle Maneuvers. Eh. 
Savage Attacker. Ooh. Ooh. You basically get advantage on damage roll. That's the way to describe that. Um... That's, uh, that's a tough one. Mm. Strongly recommended to get the tough feet. Ooh, that's good. Means 2 HP per level, so that's the equivalent of 4 constitution. Yeah. Yeah. Um, pick the heavy armor to give you the most ACs. Pick the shields to give you the most AC. When you can find a random item that gives AC, wear it. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> oh, God. What's a low AC? No. Why would you want a low AC fighter? What are you doing wrong? <laughs> I always want to know feats for sword and shield. Lucky is never bad, that is correct. Um, Sentinel is great for melee combat. What's Sentinel? When you when an enemy is in melee, melee range attacks an enemy, you can use a reaction to attack the enemy. Target ally must not have the uh, Sentinel feast. You can't help each other out. Oh man, that's interesting. Uh, you gain advantage on opportunity attacks, and when you hit an enemy with an opportunity attack, it can no longer move. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. I mean, obviously you don't take the damage for him, but your opportunity attacks get better. That's that's strong. That's really strong if she's going to be in the middle of the fight. Uh, the shield master's good. Slasher? What the hell slasher? Uh... Tough as knife, but it's just it's HP, which is good. Uh, blah blah blah. It's a good boost to the give a reaction attacker. Heavy armor master gives you you can fuck up your strength score, but great boost. So if I went with like one less strength point, that would be a good spot. What's heavy armor do again? Heavy armor master. Uh, decreased damage. By non magical attacks by three. That one's okay. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm thinking. Oh, it's tough. It's between Sentinel and Sh Shieldmaster. They're both really good. Sentinel helps the party out a little bit while also maintaining your damage. This gives her the ability to just straight up face tank spells. <laughs> hey, throw a fireball at me? Dodge. Oh, you know, like that's crazy to me. That's that's crazy. Get rid of that AT6 out of here. Make a dex saving throw. Her dexterity is 14. That's a plus two modifier. So I would give her a plus four to dodge. And as you fail, you still only take half. That is strong because normally it's you succeed and you take half. But with Shieldmaster, we go to the next level. Oh, it's tough, man. This is tough. They're both really good. Oh, man. Oh, man. But no, um... I Both of these choices are really good. And real quick, one last check. That build thing I was looking at, I want a one last opinion. What does it give for feats? Alert's good. Uh, it, that's great, but it's not what I want to know. We need another feat, damn it. It's his ability score. I only get one thing. Got it. All right. Ah. Uh, hmm. I, I'm I'm kind of tempted. I'm just gonna go with Sentinel for now. I feel I can see a respec happening, but at least with Sentinel, I know exactly what can it be. It can be used for. While Shieldmaster, I haven't seen enough 
dex saving throws to uh, make the difference, right? That's it's it's like what I know versus what I don't know. So we're gonna go with Sentinel. Sentinel's really good. No one else is gonna have it, so she's gonna have full. Of, she she won't have to worry. All right, done. That's a level. That's a level. All right, so let's check everyone's uh, gear real quick, and that'll be all. And by everyone's gear, I mean everyone who's currently in this party, because everyone else is naturally already specked out. Uh, Hood, you probably don't have anything else. This will be quick. Yeah. Cloak, no such thing. You have basic boots. Anything is an upgrade. All right. Uh, the water sparklers, if nobody else is using it. Armor, I think you got the best you can get. Draw leather, that's worse than spider silk. No rings, no amulets. Uh, detect thoughts is something to keep on hand. Lightning blast, eh. Big with that, that needs to stay on me. Guidance, yeah, that's a monk thing. Voice of the circle, eh. That's a bunch of eh for amulets. Rings. Got no rings! Alright, that was easy. Garlock, you have nothing. Jesus. You have athletic boots. Alright. Strength saving throw, plus one. Uh. Okay. <laughs> nothing but underwear. Chainmail, plus one. That's probably the best you got. Dark Justicar helmet. What does it do? When obscured, get a con. Okay. That was pretty good. That one's pretty good. Uh, I think she's good. Yeah, alright. Keep selling gear, but shockingly, nothing, nothing good. Wait, are all the gloves over here? Maybe. I don't know. I have a lot on my mind. Uh, and, well, the whole point of doing this in camp is to make it easier for everyone, right? Yeah. Defender of the people. I haven't even looked at the weapons. Don't worry, we'll get to that. Old floppy helm. The old floppy. Uh, does he have light armor? No, I can't put any armor on him, so I can't put that on. Leather boots? No. Uh, I'll give Lizelle the lightning charge. No, I'll give Asterian the lightning charge boots. Those are pretty good. Defender of the people. Uh, gloves? You have nothing equipped. And you have nothing to have. Alright, that was cool. Weapon! Uh, that one's pretty strong. I think that's gonna be your weapon, unless that quarterstaff is looking to be the same damage. All right. Uh, rapier is weak as shit. I think you. I think you got your best weapon. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Oh, enough waiting. Zale, you got. Blood. Oh wait, I didn't check the your the gate. ranged weapon. Even though you're using your ranged weapon is Eldric Blast, but. Yeah, okay. 1d6 plus 3. <laughs> okay. A heavy crossbow, that's probably the best you can get. No one's using this? Wait, what? We must have just gotten it. It's conditional, 3d- right, 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 right. Okay. It's a conditional. Anyone who can use a light crossbow would get some use out of that. And wait, what's the condition? Burning targets. Ah, uh, okay. I had to think about that for a minute. Uh, don't worry about it. Alright. Melee weapon. Finesse. Oh, rapier is a straight upgrade, right? If, was, if I still had my speedy response, I could give that to him, but... Uh, what's your backup? Steel Forge Sword, which is pretty fine. Uh, or is it? Uh, two to seven damage. Oof. Wait, why? Well, I'm doing it right, right? 1d6 plus one. Wait, it's versatile. Dur Wait, no, it's got finesse. Why is it showing 2d7? Because it's not getting the modifier? No. That can't be right. Why is the knife showing a stronger? Something's not right here. Oh, 
Something's not right. Because it's light, so even then, it's, even if without the fee, that still gets the full benefit. Something's funny here. Stop comparing to the rapier, for fuck's sakes. Toggle dual wielding? Wait, is that why? I don't, I don't know. What does it mean, toggle dual wielding? What the fuck does that mean? What if I flip this around? What if I put the steel uh, sword here? Steel four sword showing 5d10. Which is right. Let's put that over here for one. That's actually stronger regardless. Yeah, that's... That was weird. 1d8 rapier. I put a knife in the hand. Uh, okay, I think I know what was going on. Um, that Yeah, that was weird. That was weird. It was showing the base stats for the knife, but it's showing the nerf damage in comparison, which shouldn't be how it was calculating damage. Uh, but regardless, this is the strongest way to currently have him. Alright. So, there we go. He has a longbow plus one. I think we're good. I think we're good on their gear. Alright. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. Copper for your thoughts. Head now. Like your troops all trooped up. You'll need to send someone packing if you want well, to will leave. Excellent. I know that would have been funnier to say for Shadowheart, but now yeah, well. Yeah, well. You know, I've been catching myself smiling more. Join me. A bit crowded, don't you think? You can take a serious You'll place. Need to swap out someone. Wonderful. I was beginning to feel it. Then they just switched to their. All right, good line. All right. Hey, hey, I just realized I got a free heal out of all that. I didn't... Damn. Unintentional sick play. Alright, I just realized. That's great. No need to, uh... I was wounded when we started okay. this, but... I'm listening. Hey. Oh, nothing would give me hey, you know, pleasure. it all worked out really well. Magical. I didn't take any other items off of them. Whoopsie doodles. Oh, well. Off the uh, other three, but I can do that from here. Their gear is equipped, that's what matters. Uh, on that note... Hold on. Trying to be a dick. Soften the whisper. Pickpocket Soften withers. The... Dude has $900, I need this. Dice roll details, what's that button? Oh, I get plus three and plus six, wow, okay. I need to roll at least a nine. Interesting selection. Don't worry about it. Just on a few. Was spotted by the owl bear in a clearly lit area. Shh. Nailed it. <laughs> you saw nothing. <laughs> all right, that was fun. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So that's uh, that's today's riveting episode. Uh, next time, we're gonna actually go to Act Two, and we're gonna. And I've already cited my way. Um, I was thinking of leaving it as a bit of a shock, but I also was expecting to actually get going. So, uh, oops. Uh, we're gonna take the mountain path because, as it turns out. There's an area there that's considered Act 1 that I haven't been to yet. So by going the mountain route, we can go hit some new territory. Hey, that's going to work. So we're going to take that way. We'll go that way, up, up that. And once I guess we get to the connecting branch point, we'll go underground. That's the plan. And then we go from there. That's it. That's all. That's the plan. I like it. You know what? For old time's sake, let's talk to uh, our boys, our little boys. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. Thank you. You like it here, huh? Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. 
Goblin camp smells like goblins. Correct. <laughs> Pet the cub. <laughs> oh god, it's clipping. Oh god, it's clipping really bad. Oh god. I just like implanted my hand into its brain. <laughs> yes, that's a good brain. <laughs> Damn it, he's a mind flare. <laughs> I hope you're keeping well, friend. I scratch. All right, there we go. Need to get this out of my system. Ah, oh, you're your best boy. You're the best boy. Oh, I like you so much. Ho 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 ho. Good boy. And I'm gone. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching this long, long episode of Respects. It, it was coming. I warned you, people. Uh, you know, didn't think. I think it, I thought it was gonna take half an hour. It took an hour and a half. Oops. But still, I think we made some good changes. Will they end up still being good afterwards? Who knows? We gotta play the game, and we're gonna find out. Uh, but I don't currently see the need to respect for Act 3 unless something really goes wrong. Uh, who knows, though? Who knows? With Patch 6 just coming out with Baldur's Gate, Three, uh, I have a feeling there'll be like 12 more updates until uh, we get there anyway, so if there's any problems, it's great. You know, we can fix it. No problem. Fantastic. Swell, even. Uh, but regardless, though, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Ring the notification bell for all the sweetest updates in my videos. And until I see you guys again, I hope you all have yourselves a Wonderful night. This is Captain Razzie, and I am heading out. Have a good one, guys.